How are you, Mr. Colin? I'm very well, Manny. How's it going? I am wonderfully blessed as always, sir, and so are you, and you are wonderfully blessed for starring in Saving Mr. Banks. Yes, Mr. very lucky. Consider amazing, myself Amazing, amazing film. Beautiful, thank you. What made you want to be a part of it? Oh, uh, just that it was as beautiful a script as it is a film. I mean, they're, they're, they're about right in line with each other, you know? Um, which is not to say that John Lee just shot what was in the script because there was so many things that he informed within the structure of the film and, of course, everyone's performances and, and how it was shot. And, uh, it's, it's really significantly his film, but the script that Kelly Marcel wrote that gave birth to John's vision was astonishing. And the character that uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get the chance to play was something that when I read it, I thought, in 15 years of reading scripts, I haven't read anything that's as simultaneously moving and light and shades of dark and, you know, it's painful, but without being, without being too dark, without being abusive, it was painful, but there was a sweetness to it. It was just all over the place. Right, right. In the most lovely ways. Your relationship with your daughter, Helen, yeah. is the heart of the film. Without that, if it's not believable, we will not believe all the, you know, the current Mary right. Poppins. And yeah, yeah. Um, how did you attack the role? I mean, that's a hard role. Uh, it was, uh, I keep deferring to what was on the page, what Kelly wrote. It was so well defined. I mean, I knew that there were a certain amount of scenes that we were going to shoot that were going to be intermittently dropped throughout the film as Emma's character later on in life goes back into her memory of her own childhood. And we see how her childhood, as it does for all of us, formed who she is today. So every time we went back, having only a few number of scenes, every time we went back, there was a particular state right. that the character was in. Right. And a particular place that the relationship between him and his daughter was in. And it was, it was kind of this disintegration that was taking right. place emotionally and, right. and physically. Um, and so it was, it was fairly clear to me. And it was just so beautiful. It was, and working with Annie Rose Buckley as my oh, daughter, I mean, amazing. she was just amazing. And, yeah. and we just seemed to be a really good pair, you know. She was a joy to work with. And some films, and you have to push them into being. They need cajoling and they need to be in the script meetings. And right. this doesn't work. And that line, and can we change that? And another take. This film felt like it, it wanted. Just it felt like it wanted to be told. Yeah, yeah. straight up. You know what? The, my biggest takeaway about the movie is that you know it's an homage to art and how art, we can use it to to, to banish our demons in yeah. the past. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And here's my favorite scene, actually. Very slow, very quiet. Yeah. When the character you know passes away, there's a alcohol bottle that the daughter yeah puts, and that i just i mean she's so forgiving yeah 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 no absolutely right. and yet she doesn't forgive herself right yet she carries as children do she carries the burden of guilt for the for the hardships that her parents experience all the way through her life i think that's a fairly common thing and i understand it and, and yet hate the idea of it but but uh god she's yeah she's she's cursed by what she sees early on, you know? And yet it is the, it is the kind of, you know, in a contradictory way, it is the kind of gift that allows her to channel and to distill all those experiences right. into, this, into this character of Mary Poppins that yeah. she created and this series of books that ironically brings parents together. Right. I will not drink again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this afternoon. And then of course, I will not drink again this right. afternoon. And who doesn't want to have yeah. a daddy like Colin Farrell? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a longer conversation for another time. Cheers, Thank Manny. You, Good to see you, man. Nice to see you.